Hey guys, today is Saturday, May 9th, 2020, and something is telling me I should start to vlog this whole experience. And what is this experience, you ask? A bitch started another business. So, I started a business, and something is just telling me that I should vlog this. I don't even know if I'm going to post this. This could just be for me, but something is telling me that my business is going to do well. This business will take off, and I think I want to pay it forward to people by sharing with them some of the things I did. Um, because I did all this on my own. I definitely had help in terms of like getting people to review things that I have or give me their inputs and their insight. But in terms of the concept, in terms of the name, um, the site, the, the products and stuff, like that was me. So I'm excited because like if I can do it, literally you can, and I'm going to show you how you can. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good. I don't often get intuitions to like record certain things. So the fact that I have that feeling with this, it just tells me like, do it, Aldine, just do it. At, you know, at worst, you don't use this footage. At best, this footage will be dropped at the perfect time and it will be well requested and people will really benefit from it. So I'm trusting myself. I'm trusting God and I'm going with that. Um, first and foremost, I could say with any business is you need to have faith in yourself and you need to have faith in your brand as well as an added uh, bonus if you're religious I don't really want to get into like weird grounds but if you are religious in any sense believe in a higher power whether that be God Allah whoever you choose to name it him or who you choose to believe in I believe in God so a lot of my power and strength comes from him and honestly just whenever I feel like I can't do something I pray whenever I'm doing well I pray I pray on it. I don't really speak about it a lot because I don't think your relationship with God or your spiritual relationship should be something that you have to advertise. Like people don't have to know. You don't have to tell people these things. But this is one thing I can suggest to you. I found a lot of inner peace with myself since I started praying more as like the last five years. So that has definitely helped me. Um, take a deep breath and slow down. Like it's really easy to want to do everything super quick. And uh, definitely take some time and think out things before you go ahead and invest. I mean, the worst thing that could happen is you put a whole bunch of money in something and it doesn't work and you, you take the L on the money. If that's the worst that can happen, honestly, that risk is fucking low. I'm not saying go drop 10 racks on something, you know what I mean? Invest $50,000 in, like, fucking hair clips for dogs. Like, no, that's not what I'm saying to do. However, you, you can definitely make that profitable. <laughs> but I'm saying take your time and really think about what you want to sell. Don't just sell something because you just want to sell it strictly for the profit. Like, you could fucking sell anything, you know what I mean? But if you're really going to sell something and you want to you want to do well, you're going to have to be passionate about it. And the only way you can be passionate about it is if you enjoy what you're selling or what you're making. Um, selling products and services is very different. Um, from my own personal experience and just from like retail experience, they are different. Um, I don't know where to start. I'm just trying to like think about a bunch of things. I guess I should, I guess I should go back. So, okay. So I've always wanted to sell accessories. I've always, I've always known I was an idiot. <laughs> I've always known I was going to sell accessories. Um, I didn't know when or how, but literally, that's, that's, that's me. If we go into a mall, and it's like I want to go into a store, the types of stores I'm going into are the same type, but especially if they have a store that specializes in, like, just accessories and stuff. Like, clothes are cool, but sometimes I get overwhelmed, and I'm, like, my style is fairly simple in terms of, like, my clothing. I think it's the things that I add on is what makes LD and LD and what makes me me, you know what I mean? When people ask me what I'm wearing, if they're fucking with it, it's most times not what I'm wearing. It's how I put my outfit together and accessories. I complimented it, which is why I started Gal Vibes Accessories. Um, yeah, so, like, some examples I can give you. Okay, the biggest example I can give you is not even fucking in Canada, obviously. It's in Trinidad, Wonderful World. If you know... If you fucking know, I don't even know if they, they could have it in the States. I'm, I'm unaware really, but Wonderful World is my shit. Wonderful World, like literally since the 90s, going to Trinidad, that's my shit. That's what I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Like, 
it just felt so good as a woman going into a store and just seeing all these little knickknacks, little things. And it's like, you can wear something basic. It could be inexpensive. It could be, you know, passed down from someone. You could have thrifted it. And then you have that one or two pieces that just ties it together. That's, that's all, always what it's been about for me. It's not dropping money on brand name clothes just to flex and say that I have it. I don't give a fuck where your loafers are from. I don't give a fuck that your pants cost a thousand dollars. I don't care. I eat weird. I drip shit on myself. I stain my shit. Like, I'm, I'm a chef as well. I'm not focused on my clothes because I'm focused on the food. You know what I'm saying? With the accessories, the watch though. Baby girl, what's that visor from? What are your sunglasses saying? If you know me for real life, people always ask me where I get my sunglasses from. That bag's so cute. Your bracelet's cute. I like your anklet. That waist chain is fire. Thanks, I know. I, I know. <laughs> so, I don't consider myself like a fashionista or... Like, I would never do styling or something. That's totally out of my lane. And I know way more qualified people who are amazing at that and passionate about it. Shoutouts to Naimka. Shoutouts to A. Shoutouts to all the people I know that paved with their fashion sense. Um, I just like putting myself together well. And I like accessories. I like little trinkets. You know what I mean? I'll wear a nice to see tee. Some fucking bicycle shorts. Like, basic bands. But then my purse and my sunglasses will be fire. So that's kind of just like where my head is at and where I've always wanted to take my sense of fashion to share with people. I don't think you have to drop a lot of money. I'd never believed that. I still don't believe that. And when I have a lot of money, I'm not going to change that. I may invest in higher quality pieces because you should always have a few high quality pieces in your arsenal. I'm not going to go tell you to drop a thousand dollars on a ring. I'm not going to go tell you to drop X amount fucking Pandora. I hate that shit. I think that shit's whack. I hate that shit. I would rather buy a piece of fashion jewelry than buy fucking sterling silver fucking stainless steel with like random charms on it that that's weird i don't that doesn't make any sense to me i'd rather wear fake silver and have it match my outfit and take it off than wear that it's clunky it's heavy no i don't see and again this is preference same people who like that kind of stuff will probably have like a fucking gucci bag or birkin bag okay but what's your mortgage saying what's your credit score saying you know what i mean are you still making car payments like these are things that I don't have yet myself, but I do know that because I don't have them yet. I'm definitely not focusing on fucking clothes when those are the bigger pictures. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't cost you a fortune to look good and feel good. I'm just a 90s girl living in a 2000 world. So shop gal vibes. <laughs> um, and that's literally where I came from. And again, you have to be passionate about it. Don't just sell some shit. You're like, yeah, I'm going to sell it. No, literally, I feel like I always am talking to other women about like just the need and the drive the thing that drives women to feel like they always have to flex or impress people like bitch i don't give a fuck how much you paid for that i really don't care are you trying to smoke this one or not you know what i mean like i don't care i don't care that you're wearing something louis i don't care that you're wearing something gucci i don't care because i know what your bedroom looks like i know what your cooking skill is and there's a ring around your bathtub these are things that like i just i can't let go and you're gonna try to floss and like stunt no 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 that makes no sense to me that makes no sense to me if you don't own a piece of property don't tell me about anything designer don't tell me about anything designer if you don't own a piece of property for what for what no let me show you a cute little 30 dollar anklet a cute little you know 30 dollar pair of sunglasses that you can wear and feel good about and if it breaks it's not going to crush your spirit because your whole life and your self-esteem is fucking embedded in a piece of plastic no no we're about real people over here i'm always promoting real people I'll, even when i have a whole bunch of money even when because i know it's gonna come that will not change how i view things or the type of person i am no no so this brand this vibe this store is for like real people you know what i mean go to your job do what you want create your own business you know what i mean you have your good days you have your bad days you're not out here flexing. You may not have 100,000 followers on Instagram. You may like weird stuff. You're a regular person. I'm a regular person. I'm fucking weird. Like, I'm representing for the weirdos and the real people. I'm not trying to be here acting like I'm something that I'm not or... No. So I really want that to come through the brand. And I think it will come through the brand because that's me and I'm putting my heart and soul into it. I want everyone to look fly and feel good about themselves. I don't want people basing themselves on a hierarchy based on how they look and make that a result of the price they paid for what they have. 
that's a really big thing. No. I may drop some money on certain things like shoes. Stussy is probably where I will spend the most my, my most amount of money on like a single item. You know what I mean? Even Zara. I spent more on one piece of Zara than I have at Stussy, so that doesn't even count. Prime example, like <laughs> Zara is like my top contender. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just a real person starting a real business that's going to do real fucking well. And I have the foresight to start to film that now. And I want to take you guys along with me. I want to show you guys while gone. I want to show you what's up. It's fucking possible. Anything is possible. The amount of businesses I started and failed, the amount of things I've done is just like, this one will work out well. And if it doesn't, no problem. I'll hit the books. But this one's going to work out well. This one's going to work out amazing. So thank you for tuning into this journey. Again, I don't know if I'm going to actually post this, but something is just telling me, do it, Aldine. Just do it. You know what I mean? I, I, I never, I never want to live with regrets. I don't, I don't like living with regrets. So that's why I'm always quick to act. I think a lot, but I, I act just as much as I think because you don't want to live life through, through, with regrets, excuse me. And you learn through action. You learn through doing. So if you do something, it doesn't work out well. Now I have the skill to do better the next time. But if you sit there and process things and work through snares in your head you'll never get the real life experience to see if it actually worked out for you so fortunately enough for me and thankfully i put myself in enough positions that i did feel that i learned so i'm really excited to like do this um show you guys my branding how i went about everything how you can go about everything um and you have to be really quick to act like quarantine definitely made me pick up the pace and be like, bitch, if you want to do it, fucking do it. Like, what are you waiting for? Because you're going to tell yourself you don't have time. That's false. You're going to tell yourself you don't have money. That's definitely false. So just fucking do it. The worst thing that happens is I lose the money. I've lost money on way smaller things for way less gain than the potential that this can bring. So I'm really excited. Like, I'm not, I can't take an L from this. I literally can't take an L from this. An L is just a lesson. I'm not taking... I'm not taking a loss, see, you know what I mean? I'm always down for lessons. So I'll take, if L means lessons, I'll take as many L's as it fucking takes for me to get to the top and get to where I need to be. So let's fucking do it. Let's make this money. Try to see everybody eat, you know what I mean? Just a 90s girl in the 2000 world. The shop gal vibes. <laughs> Hey guys, it is May 13th, checking in quick. I received my shipments this week, so I got um, one of my shipments from one vendor, and then I got my sunglasses from my other vendor today, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm happy that now I can accurately forecast how long it's going to take me to get my shipments from both my vendors, because they are not located in the same place, and they don't use the same shipping, shipping service. Shipping service. They don't use the same shipping service. So that was um, like good research for me to do. Um, today I've just been mostly working on my marketing. So I've been doing my MailChimp stuff and I've been making sure that my website acts how I want it to act, i.e. my discount code. So luckily I have like a bunch of my own fucking emails. I can try out 
some of my other emails and just make sure that basically like my discount codes aren't used for people they shouldn't be used for because that's not fair to me or to them because I'll just nice fucking everything. Excuse me. Um, making sure everything looks good and functions how I'd want it to function. Um, I shop online a lot, as most of us, so I have a general idea of how things work, like what the normal is, so I want to make sure that my business is not exempt. Because um, it's just me, and I'm small, and I'm local. Small for now, and I'm local. Um, I was debating if I should do in-person pickup or just shipping, but after thinking about it, I'm still going to do both, because some people may want it shipped to them, and having that option is always better. And some people may be okay with just like popping by my house and grabbing it. So I want to give people both options, which I think is really cool. Um, what else to update you on? I have to do one more purchase order. So that way I will have my stand so I could shoot my jewelry on. Um, I did product shots of 75 products and I have to fucking redo it because... They didn't look how I want. They they looked good, but the, the background wasn't consistent. Also, some of my products are a one of one, and some I'm not selling just because I don't like the quality. So any of those products I can't sell. So I have to go through my inventory again and kind of pick out what I'm going to give as samples so people can promote the brand and send those as part of like a kind of PR package thing. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, I've been doing a lot of like just computer behind the scenes stuff because when I know when things start to sell and I'm actually packaging things I don't want to have to focus on little logistics that I skimmed over so like making sure my expenses are up to date having all my receipts getting all my invoices from vendors or pl places that I purchased and having those aside um, the money I received from my investors and making sure I'm up to date on the payments and the interest level. <laughs> um, what else? On my cooking side of it, making sure I still have food content and blog because, you know, eating with Aldine, you guys already know, can never abandon my baby. So I want to also make sure I'm able to multitask and focus on both of these because I've been pretty much solely focused on this for the past few weeks, almost a month now. So I definitely don't want to neglect what I work so hard on with my YouTube so far. But because my boyfriend is very smart, he suggested that I just do a bunch like I'm so tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> because my boyfriend is very smart. He suggested that I but I keep forgetting what I'm going to say. My boyfriend suggested that I film a bunch of videos ahead of time, so that way I just have content because, like, that's the logical thing to do. Again, he's smart. I'm not so smart at times <laughs> because I was trying to, like, come up with the, you know, whatever menu, film, edit, and release the same day. Baby girl, it's not, that's working hard, not working smart. Right now I have about six videos in the vault that I'm excited to drop and I could, like, plan out and drop them and give people time to absorb it versus trying to, like, force feed people and drop videos multiple times a week. I don't think I need to do that yet. I thought I wanted to, but I'm okay with one food video per week. Um, cause again, it's information I want people to learn. It's not just something for entertainment. So there's not a real rush to just be putting out too much content and then overwhelming people. So I'm happy. Obviously food is still my passion. So as much as I've been focusing on this, it's because I can, it's because I prepared myself without even knowing it by, you know, pre-filming so much food. And now that I have a quick setup to film and I understand my phone a lot more, it's a lot less overwhelming for me to like set up my phone, film, keep doing what I'm doing. And because I changed my filming process for my food and I do voiceovers, I don't have the time constraints of like, I can, you know, I have to do the food video while no one's home so you don't hear the background noise. Because obviously I don't live alone, so that's something I have to consider. Um, also, with my other businesses, I was very closed off in terms of I would tell people, I would tell too many people too much information too quickly, but the things that mattered I was overlooking versus in this business, I'm being very careful with my tongue, very careful with who knows what, very careful with what the fuck is going on, like what I'm, everything about it. Um... So hopefully this will be a shock later when some of you see it's like, this bitch was working on this the whole time. Yeah, don't just your, let your actions speak. I don't need to 
you know, be posting videos on the time telling people, yo, something's coming. I think I put up one picture and I regretted it. I put up one picture yesterday of me in a pair of sunglasses. And you know what God did? God said, bitch, you should have chilled. Guess why? Because my vendor doesn't carry those sunglasses anymore. Prime example. I haven't, like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. So that was like a quick slap in the ass where God's like, you said you weren't going to promote it before it hits the fan, so hold your word. So, yep. Um, just... I've been talking to my investors about my plan because obviously they have the right and the need to know what am I what am I doing? How am I using my money? How much of my own money have I put? How much I'm asking for them? Um, but I've had so much experience trying to run my own businesses, some good, mostly failed, that I learned so much that I knew what to do with this one to take my time, what steps to do, where to start. Um, also, the type of business I'm running is just totally different. So, actually, no, it's not totally different because I sold products before. I sold Avon in high school. Who who the fuck you know sells Avon in high school? Sells Avon, not like they're using the Avon. Like, I was the distributor. You know when the lady has her name on the back and says, call me? That was my info. So, that was hard and a challenge because Avon is like the most saturated catalog um, ordering system that people still use to date. So, I think that also made me that was a great experience because that made me not afraid to sell something that's already being sold you know like everyone can eat i always think of that bread quote that's super cliche but it's like yo you walk down a fucking bread aisle all those breads are getting money all those people who own, all those breads all the people who own those companies and those mills are getting money they don't have to like they, yeah they compete with each other but they don't need to because if someone fucks with your product they fuck with it me and you can sell the same thing doesn't mean i hate you doesn't mean i want what you have doesn't mean the inverse for you either we're just both trying to sell our shit like we can both sell the same thing and everybody eats because someone may like something about you more than they like me and the same could be true vice versa so I don't really look at it like, oh, it's too saturated. Like, I tried personal training. That's fucking the most saturated thing ever. And I didn't stop because it was saturated. I stopped because I lost my passion for personal training and realized that personal training wasn't my passion. Fitness and health is something that's always a part of me that I like. Health and wealth is always something I want to promote. How I think I was doing it was just not sustainable for me long term. Um, but... You know, you just have to reshape. It's like one door doesn't close. It's just like one door is jammed right now and this door just pried open. But eventually both those doors will be open once you unlock them. You know what I mean? That's just how I look at it. That's probably a fucking terrible quote. I'm really tired. But tired is good. I like working. I really like working. I love working. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. So I think I... I don't know what I would be doing this quarantine if I wasn't working. I needed to create something for myself. I like working. I like being active. I like using my brain to do stuff. So this is the best use of it. I'm learning new skills. I'm, you know, managing things better. I'm managing my money, my time better. Um, just skills overall that I've wanted to do. So why not try it out? And I mean, you know, at worst... I don't sell anything and I lose my investment, but I already know that's not going to happen. So if that's just the biggest potential risk that I have, that's not even a risk worth calculating. That's not, that's nothing. So I lose a rack, okay? And I'm going to get that money back because I'm going to manifest it because I have a healthy relationship with money because I know I'm worth it because I know I deserve money because I work hard for money. Therefore, money will be in abundance. So I'm not worried and I'm not pressed about losing a $1,000 get that thousand dollars back so really i've been going all in with that attitude and i'm so excited i think it's going to work out well i really opened up to my parents about this business and i think it was easier for them to take it serious because i took it serious and not just me saying it's going to work out and i'm just trying to rely on my own word and really persuade people i'm just showing them you know what i mean i'm actually doing it i'm following through with my actions i'm following through with my words so it makes it easier for my parents to support me um investors people i reached out to because i could show them on paper this is what i've done in the past month this is how much money i've spent on what i'm very organized in that sense so i think this will work out really well for me plus where i see this and where i know it's gonna go i need to have this foundation because it would be terrible to do all this hard work and start this great company and this great business excuse me and it take off and it was little things like i didn't register the business what 
I didn't keep track of my opening expenses in the start. What? I don't have like a record log of when I purchased things and how much tax I paid on the item versus just the cost of the item. If I didn't break down my profit margin, if I didn't know how much it was going to cost me, if I didn't have the paper trail of how much I paid to import the item in addition to what I paid for the item, which was in a different currency, this is the type of shit that like seven years ago, when I was, what business I have seven years ago? I was training and meal prep. This is the kind of shit that I would have overlooked in that business seven years ago and then wondered why I'm not making money, how I'm losing money, my things aren't working. Versus now, it's like, no, no, today I spent blah, 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 blah on blah, 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 blah. I know exactly how much money I allocated to what. When I'm calculating my profit, it's already including my expenses. So now I'm looking at my profit versus my gross. That was something I was not doing before. I was thinking, oh, I'm grossing this much. Baby girl, you got to factor in how much money you spent to make that money. Now I've already included that. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited. I got a lot more work to do. I just finished doing all my email stuff. I'm um, finishing up my site. Really, the last thing I have to do is update my inventory. So inventory stuff I can update today because later this week I have to pick up one more shipment. Um, that will be my last shipment before I launch. I'm waiting for my business cards, which actually should be here. So I'm going to double check the mailbox. After. Ta-da. Today is May 22nd, it's 8.28 a.m. I'm so happy Gal Vibes launched. I'm so excited, so excited, so excited. I was like overwhelmed this week. I've been anxious, I've been nervous. Plus I'm on my period, so that makes things worse. Sorry if that's TMI, but ladies, you guys already know the vibes. Gal Vibes, literally, literally, literally. I'm so thankful to everyone who has purchased. I have four orders so far. In the first uh, five hours of me being open, I received four hours I'm so grateful. I'm so excited. I already need to order new shit. I already have people asking me when I'm getting things coming. I'm just super, super, super excited. I'm super grateful. I'm having trouble right now fully soaking it in, I think, because Facebook has really been fucking with me. I'm having some issues with my Facebook and Instagram integration, but I'm not going to let that from I'm not going to let that stop me from celebrating all the positive that God has blessed me with. Amen. I'm so excited. I launched this business on my grandma's birthday. So, it's a lot of emotions today because it was intentional and I hope and I know that she's smiling down and it's giving me so much more motivation to do well for myself, not only for me, but for my family and those around me. Like I'm really happy and it's inspiring to me when people tell me that I motivate them or I inspire them with my hustle and my drive and honestly I just like doing shit I'm an actions and a results oriented person so when I had this idea years ago like honestly at least a decade ago I knew it would come to fruition when that would be would be I I wasn't sure only God knew when this when this would uh you know, come to light, but everything worked out in my favor in terms of the quarantine. That definitely was the biggest catalyst for me doing this because I think I would always give myself excuses as to why I couldn't. Um, but that just really showed me like, fuck it. You know what I mean? Money's not the obstacle because I thought the money was an obstacle and I would tell myself that and the money just came. So it definitely wasn't the money. It was definitely just me being in my way. And most times it's us getting in our way. You know what I mean? Like you think it's someone else, you're blaming something most times it's you it's the person in the mirror so I'm really ha happy and thankful that I took the step and continue to take the steps because it's also easy sometimes to like take the first step and then be like nah I'm cool and then like backtrack you know what I mean but once you take that first step you just have to keep going and then just keep going so I'm really excited this is so motivating like I'm so excited to go pack my orders right now I'm gonna film that also I'm really 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 excited like i am over the moon right now i'm so thankful to my friends who purchased my friends who stayed up to purchase from my site as it launched because it launched at midnight it was supposed to be midnight but i woke up at midnight so it actually like i actually took the password off of it around one um i'm a real person things happen 
but it is up nonetheless. I am just so excited. If only my Facebook and my Instagram integration was like working properly. Like my Facebook page is up, but I'm having trouble with the products. For some reason, my scrunchies got flagged and like I have 65 scrunchies and seven of them got flagged. So I'm not really sure like wag on with that. But I'm just so thankful again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can never say thank you enough to those of you who believe in me, who support me, who continue to motivate me, who tell me what I'm doing right, who help me when I'm doing wrong, and just believe in me even when I can't see it, and help me follow through with my vision. I appreciate you more than you could know. I hope you know how much I appreciate you, because um, I tell people how much I appreciate them often. But in case you're unaware, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to you watching this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is the first day of the rest of my life. All I have to do now is write down some concrete monetary goals and sales figures that I want to hit. Um, so that way I know I'm, I'm kind of getting up there. But right now it's just not even about that. It's just literally like sharing, you know, the products with people is my main objective. I know, you know, things in the world right now are a little bit different. Some people are down. So I'm really hoping that just by instilling some good positive energy in these ladies that we can all feel good because ladies you already know when you look good you feel good and it has to come from within but sometimes it comes from the outside as well so that's what gal vibes is here to do i'm so excited i'm gonna go ball up and then i'm going to go package my orders and record that i'm super 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 excited so thank you thank you thank you have a great day god bless it is Saturday, May 23rd. The time is like 12 something a.m. I've officially been up for 24 hours. My store, Gal Vibes, launched on Friday, May 22nd um, at midnight. <laughs> it actually launched at like 1 a.m., but I woke up at midnight just to edit a few things and um, just make it live and available. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I am... I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to progressing and getting better and curating um, good accessories that people like to really fit with the whole theme and aesthetic of my store. 90s girl living in a 2000s world. I'm super grateful, super, 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 super grateful and thankful to everyone who purchased today. Um, I just was completely overwhelmed. I wasn't expecting the volume. Um, I think that's God's way of telling me to believe in myself more. And thank you again to those of you who believe in me. Um, oh, my lips are so dry. I just brushed my teeth. <laughs> but I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, I'm excited to buy new inventory. I'm excited to make people feel good. I'm excited to share um, like my sense of style with people. I'm excited to get better as a businesswoman. I'm excited for financial freedom. I'm excited for all the hard work. I'm excited for all the learning and the growth. I'm excited for the networking. Um, I'm excited for the amount of time that I'll have to use on other ventures like my food, other businesses. I'm just really excited for life. Um, this quarantine and COVID is definitely detrimental and it has been terrible for some people. I'm so thankful and blessed and highly favored, honestly, because this has been a great experience for me in terms of my drive, in terms of believing in myself, in terms of not giving myself excuses and really just like sticking to something and kind of going after it. I'm so sorry. I know I look nuts. I'm like almost delirious at this point. I slept for three hours from Thursday night to Friday, no, two hours, and then I woke up at midnight. I woke up at 12.01 on the 22nd, and I'm still, I'm still awake. Um, I'm just so happy and so thankful, and I'm still looking forward to more, so I'm going to work really hard, get my orders together, and ship those out tomorrow. I have 20-something orders today, which is a really big deal to me. Um, I'm just so excited. It's only up from here. So again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to everyone who supported me, reposted, commented, liked, participated in the giveaway, purchased something, bounced ideas off me, gave me feedback, motivated me. Like, I'm just speechless and overwhelmed. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, so much, so much. I'm hoping that I can, you know, pay 
it forward. Hope I can inspire and motivate my friends, my peers, people, my community to just kind of go for whatever they want to go for. If you want to start a business, I can do it. I hope that I can inspire my family, um, older and younger. Like, I'm excited. I'm thankful. I'm tired. I'm going to go to sleep now so I can get up early tomorrow and deal with my orders. And I will film packing my orders since I have a lot of orders. And some are for pickup, some are for shipping. So I'm going to film um, how I pack those separate orders and everything. And I'm really excited to share that with you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you again from the bottom of my heart. Have a good night. God bless. Peace. Check out Shop Cal Vibes for the 90s girl in a 2000s world. You already know. <laughs> dropping off my first set of orders at the post office. I'm so excited. Thank you to everyone who ordered. I have a bunch of orders about to ship out. Let's get it.